Get ready to unlock the future of app development with Google AI Studio. Discover powerful tools like Gemini 2.5 Pro and templates for instant AI creations, plus the stunning new GitHub integration that makes syncing your projects a breeze. Watch as I build a tic-tac-toe game in real time and reveal exclusive features that will revolutionize your coding experience. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss these game-changing updates. Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to explore Google AI Studio, an amazing tool that's free to use. Now you can access various powerful models like Gemini 2.5 Pro, Flash, and even Nano Banana, among others. It's really fantastic. But one feature that stands out is called Build. On the surface, it seems quite simple, but it's perfect for creating React-based applications from straightforward prompts, much like platforms such as Lovable or Bolt. The key thing here is that it's specifically tailored for apps that utilize the Gemini API. For instance, imagine asking it to create a nano banana image generator tool. It can effortlessly hook up the Gemini API to get the job done. Isn't that marvelous? You'll find that the Gemini API documentation is always at your fingertips, but if you prefer, you can also build standalone apps without relying on Gemini. Now let's jump into what's new with this tool. As soon as you access it, you'll notice a bunch of new nano banana pre-made templates have been added. This is brilliant for those looking to whip up AI related apps quickly and efficiently. As we look at the prompt box, there's now a settings icon. Clicking on this will bring up a sidebar, allowing you to select models. Currently you're limited to the 2.5 Pro version, but it looks like they're preparing to support 3.0 flash soon, which is something to keep an eye on. Plus there's the system instructions template where you can now choose the stack or framework you want. Angular has recently been added and that makes perfect sense since Google owns it and uses it in various applications. Moving on, the add option remains in place, enabling you to incorporate files, images or product requirement documents easily, which is quite handy. Now let's put it to the test. I'm going to ask it to create a tic-tac-toe game that uses Gemini as the second player. What you'll see is an impressive new loading interface pop-up. It provides an interactive view while it generates a plan and structures everything. And I think it looks fantastic. If we wait just a moment, we can watch as it starts writing the code, creating files in real time. And voila, in no time at all, it's completed the task and what it generates looks really good. This setup utilizes Gemini correctly, and the best part, there's no need to fiddle with API keys, it's all integrated smoothly. Now let's talk about a noticeable change in the interface. The right side has seen a redesign. Instead of having the editor in the center with the preview on the far side, it's now split into two tabs, code and preview. You can easily toggle between these, which really enhances the experience since both areas now have plenty of space and feel less cluttered. In the code tab, there's still room for you to create custom files and modify as needed. Plus the editor settings at the top allow you to toggle features like text wrapping and enable a code mini map, which is really useful. Now just above that, there's an exciting new feature, the save to GitHub option. This wasn't available before, and I believe it's one of the best updates. You can now sync your project directly to GitHub, making it so easy to keep everything updated. When you first do this, it will prompt you to create a GitHub repository and you can enter your project's name and details. It's instant. You can even choose between public and private visibility for your repo. After that, you'll have the option to commit your changes with a message and it even provides auto-generated commit messages. Simply hit tab to add them then hit commit and it's done. This feature allows you to clone your project anywhere or link it to Versal's auto deploy, pushing it live to a real website without any fuss. You still have the download app option, copy app option and a share option, which makes it really easy to share your app with others. There are some additional smaller updates too, like drag and drop support for files into subfolders, which is quite handy. Plus there's now a suggestions feature in the chat panel allowing you to improve your project with pre-made suggestions. That's the gist of the major updates. 
Overall, I've noticed this tool feels much faster and performs better. Whether it's due to a different system prompt or some optimizations, it's certainly impressive. Honestly, I believe this is one of the most underrated features offered by AI Studio. It's really a gem. Personally, I prefer it over Gemini Canvas and Firebase Studio because it's user-friendly, works seamlessly, and now integrates GitHub projects directly. It's genuinely awesome. So there you have it. I hope you found this information helpful. If you enjoyed this video, do check out my other content for more on AI and technology. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.